The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome back to the show. It is my 29th birthday this weekend, so we are discounting membership and hoodie package deals by just over 29%. Go to davidpakman.com slash 29, not the number, but spell out 29, and you will be able to sign up for that, Lewis. Congratulations. Thank you, David. Oprah is accused of endorsing a skin cream derived from baby foreskin. She showed up in Western Canada uh, a few days ago. And along with all of the adoring fans showed up some angry protesters, including some uh, uh, activists who say they are angry because Oprah is endorsing a skin cream that they say is ba uh, made from circumcised foreskins from babies. It's $165 cream. It's a, a Skin Medica cream. Oprah has referred to it as her fountain of youth. I thought that plastic surgery was her fountain of youth. Apparently it's baby foreskin. Okay. Uh, and Vancouver protester Gren Callender, he is a campaigner for so-called foreskin awareness, says the cream is made from babies' foreskins and that on one hand, Oprah wants to end female genital mutilation, but on the other hand, she's endorsing a foreskin cream. Now, of course, we've talked about on the show many times, we don't agree that uh, uh, male... Uh, uh, circumcision is equivalent to female genital mutilation. That's not the story I'm trying to start now. I'm trying to figure out, is Oprah rubbing foreskin on her face or not? That's really the question, Lewis. Now, the statement from Skin Medica is that Skin Medica doesn't have foreskin in it as a matter of course. It, it was formulated with an initial sample collected 10 years ago in wound healing research of baby foreskin and that they're from that they have derived this uh, this cream. That's not good enough for some of the protesters. This gentleman calendar says it's not made of chopped up foreskins, but its key ingredient is uh, uh, its key ingredient is manufactured using cells harvested from baby foreskin. All right. What do you think, Lewis? If uh, like I said before, I'm fine with with parents choosing to circumcise their children. And if the foreskin is there, I, what do I care what people do with it afterwards? Interesting. Natan, how about you? I mean, th this I don't know that that really applies because a lot of people would still be angry if the, the, the body of a loved one who has passed away is just used for whatever. People who are still alive or who have an interest still have a, you know certain ideas of what is dignity and respect. Natan? I don't know. I don't really have an opinion about this. It just seems like, I mean, I don't really care. It's like, the foreskin is there. They used a little bit of it to create um, a skin product. <laughs> like I, I just, I just don't care. Interesting. This is, uh, yeah, I, I totally do not care at all what Oprah rubs on her face. Isn't it true, Lewis, that you're developing a chimp urine cream to to uh, cure some uh, sexually transmitted diseases? Yeah, my basement is full of chimps, and uh, I collect their pee and somehow manufacture whatever the hell you're talking about. It's going to be an interesting bonus show today, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> so, all right, send me your thoughts about Oprah uh, and her um, foreskin cream. You know, I don't know. Uh, I just, uh, I'm finding myself not caring very much don't about it. Don't send in your foreskin, though. Your uh, foreskin. <laughs> I, okay. I, don't, I don't have my foreskin anymore. Thank you. I threw <laughs> it out. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I think it's time to move yeah. on. 